Hello, hi, and welcome to a new video series. In this series, we will go from having absolutely nothing except for a PC, which I assume you have because you're watching uh, videos online, uh, PC and internet connection, that's all you need, to going and publishing a video game most likely or an application on some web store if you want you can monetize this then and stuff uh, but we will guide through from really having nothing not even knowing how programming works uh, to publishing something of course something very basic but that is what this series is about a bit different from our usual videos but here we go um, therefore we are going to use um, a program a tool called unity in this video i will just roughly explain how do you get unity and then in the next videos we will get into the tool so here it's more about really starting from nothing so if you're an absolute beginner perfect place for you this is where you belong so let's just dive in it dive into it <clears throat> i'm sorry i haven't recorded videos in a long time so i don't know what i'm talking i know what i'm talking about but i'm slipping words here and there so I have put two links in the description below. Two links, uh, you see two open tabs. Um, both links will get you to download Unity. What you will use for working with the tool is first of all, Unity, the tool itself. And on the second, you will use an IDE for programming, for coding, right? So you will need those two. That's why I have two tabs in there. First thing you should download is with the first link, the Unity link, and there you can download Unity and you should download Unity Hub. So the second uh, green big button here, the Unity Hub is your central hub for everything. So that's this. The second thing, when you're installing Unity, it will already ask, do you want to install Visual Studio? If you click yes and install Visual Studio, or if you already have it or any other programming environment for coding um, then you're good that's okay you don't need the second link the second link leads you exactly to that visual studio right the second link in the description visual studio it's both free it's all is everything here is absolutely free until you make a revenue of a hundred thousand euros per year or dollars per year then it's not free anymore but that'll take some time most likely um, so the second link for Visual Studio where you have the community download, that's the free download, it's a powerful IDE. Uh, when you download that one, right, um, and then run the installer, like you can download Unity, run the installer and you should be done. If need, you also need to download the um, Visual Studio application IDE here. Uh, it's this one, the community one. When you run this installation, it is pretty funny. The first thing that will show up, show up it's German, I know. <laughs> Shut up, it's German, I know. Um, the first thing that will show up is actually a window, what do you want to install? And there is one button here, you see it in there. Uh, if you select that checkbox, which is game development with Unity, it will automatically download also on top here, Unity Hub. So if you download with the first link, you download Unity Hub and installing it including Visual Studio, so perfectly fine. The second link will you lead you to you downloading Visual Studio, and here you can also select the Unity Hub. So they are really closely tied together. They're pretty much connected. Uh, they work without each other, so uh, you can use any other IDE, but I'm also using Visual Studio for all the videos I make. So after you downloaded and installed both in this case, or First, I'm showing here the Unity Hub. Um, you've got the Unity Hub application now, right? You can see it lists your projects and I have a couple of projects on this PC. Um, and this is basically what the hub is used for. You have your projects, you can select which version your projects have. You can upgrade your projects, you can not downgrade your, uh, downgrade your projects, you can just upgrade them. You can select what platform should the project be for. Right? You can create new projects, which I will get to in a moment. But more importantly, since you're an absolute beginner, there is a tab here that says learn. There is actually a lot of nice tutorials from Unity, official tutorials from them there in this package. So micro games, for example, there, there's one karting game. It takes just 30 minutes to create this little karting game. Of course, this takes you by the hand. It gives you everything that you need. So all the assets, all the uh, 3D stuff that you need, all the coding, everything is in there already. So it's not really from zero 
to something it's really you already have a lot given uh, but those are quite nice like i've clicked through most of these i i just listen to them on the side so they're they're really nice there's bigger ones there's smaller ones there's two hours for example oh my god there's three hours i did this one actually in the beginning <laughs> five hours i haven't done that one uh so yeah if you want to learn watch the video series which i will upload frequently now or go here and learning that's also perfectly fun there's a community tab with blogs and forums and there's a whole community about this but more importantly there is an installed tab that is empty in the beginning if you don't have any version of unity installed you only have the unity hub right now which is the central tool to link everything unity itself is the programming tool then uh, that you can open from your unity hub on uh, so in unity hub you first have to add top right here you first have to add a unity installation so when you click on add there is a selection you can take there's a couple of different versions and there's two main differences there are official releases a recommend release pre doesn't matter and there's two different things there's those that do not have anything in brackets after the version number and there are those that have lts lts in this um in this frame means long-term support those have been tested those have been working fine they are the ones you should be using and in this tutorial series we will also be using you see this version number 2019 4 18 f1 that's just some versioning right um so you go add and choose the newest official release that has lts of course there's newer official releases like the 2022 that's a that's definitely newer than, than the 2018 here in this case out of 2019 i'm using they are not completely tested they are still they're they out of beta they're not they, they work 98 percent correct but there's still some issues with it the lts is perfectly fine choose an lts that's what i'm saying uh, that's what i did so in this tutorial series we are going to work with this lts but as long as you're using an lts long-term support you should be fine also it should look very 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 similar to what i have good after you installed add select a version next and then uh download it right uh selecting the correct support that you want to do what do you what type of game do you want to build android ios and so on and so on we are going with windows in this case so very simple very basic windows if you want another language you can also download that and then done and it's going to download which i won't do because that takes some time and i'm not cutting those videos i'm putting them out as one chunk um, after you've done that go back to projects in your unity hub right and there we want to create a new project if you already have one from an older version or from download from the internet you can add and search for it on your disk but we will create a new project so new and there are four different categories templates there could be more yes there could be more <laughs> in this moment they popped up uh, depending on the unity version depending on how much unity actually gave you and that kind of stuff right uh, there's two dimensional projects 2d which is just flat surface and pictures and sprites and that kind of stuff there's three dimensional which is a base 3d project that's what we are going to use which is capable of doing everything there's an hdrp high definition render pipeline um template for projects the hdrp is when it comes to graphics it just looks freaking awesome it's amazing graphics uh 3d effects glowing effects fog density and stuff the lighting is nice it, it kind of looks like unreal engine like i couldn't really differ between those um so the hdrp here uh, you can also install to a 3d project later on those are just templates you can go if you select 3d you can still make a 2d project if you select 3d you can still make an hdrp project if you select hdrp you can also make the other types of projects of course there's things already installed but it's capable of switching around with some effort of course uh, and there's the the hdrp is really really nice mm, top-notch graphics but you also need to have a strong machine to run them of course and there's the urp the universal render pipeline which is still nice graphics but uh it works on more machines that's like medium graphic level kind of not 100 but kind of 
that's enough. And there's mobile, as you see, there's different versions. But those are those four are the standard versions. We are going to go with a normal 3D uh, project. I could also select 2D, but we're going with 3D because 2D is also capable of doing 3D, just not optimized for it. In the beginning, you can always change it through the project itself. So I will give this name a uh, this project a nice name. It's going to be called YouTube Videos. <laughs> I'm loading that uploading that to video, to to YouTube. So you choose a nice project name for yourself. Maybe your name, maybe the name of the game you're having in mind right now or of the program um, could be whatever. That's up to you. Choose a location where to save it, of course, and let's create the project. This will take a minute in the background to um, create the project from the template. It now takes this 3D template with some objects and stuff and just ramps that into a uh, Unity project. And you see this now means that Unity is loading. I have now closed the Unity hub and we are opening the Unity programming environment, the Unity editor. Right? You see, whenever you are actually... Um, opening this <laughs> i've got some errors don't look at those right now don't don't look at them don't, don't look at the errors they're not there for you that they're, they're just not there <laughs> um they're just because my pc isn't set up correctly you see my layout is different than yours uh whoops i wanted to prepare that in before whoops now there we go uh yeah whenever you open unity through unity hub it actually tries to update the program and it asks you, do you want to up, upgrade, update? And then you click yes, and then that's the next long-term support version. But I always go through the Unity Hub and with installs and upgrades, you can always go there. Um, if you want to upgrade your project uh, manually, now I've got this project and I want to upgrade it to a new Unity version, you can just go from the Unity Hub and select a newer version. It will give you a warning. It will give you a pop-up when you open. Now, if I open it, it will give me a warning. Do you really want to upgrade? It takes a couple of minutes. Uh, some things could go wrong. So try to go with the same version as long as possible. If you don't need to update, don't do it. That's that's a general rule to program. If you don't need to change something, don't do it. So this is how the uh, window should look uh, for you right now. I will reopen it because my... Um, my Unity is kind of broken because I'm using other versions and the versions are not 100% compatible in my case because I messed up the installation. I just reopened it so all the errors are gone in the background. So this is how Unity looks like, right? I will give you also a rough overview of the uh, windows right, that you have in Unity, but I will do that in the next video because there's been already a lot here. Now we've got the uh, Unity installed. We've got Unity Hub installed. We've got Visual Studio installed. We've got Unity sitting around here. We know about the Unity Hub. And next time we're going to talk about everything that's going on here, which looks stunning. In the first moment, it's quite complex. There's a lot going on. Actually, there isn't. There is not much going on in that view that you just saw. That is just Unity. Don't be frightened. In the first moment, everything looks frightening. It isn't. It is actually pretty simple. 2D, 3D, all the same. You can do it. And with those videos coming up, you can do it. And in the end, we are going to have a um, full game uploaded to a store, to a website, to a sharing platform whatsoever. <laughs> Good. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. It was really, really basic. We just learned about the Unity Hub and we have now a running Unity installation. Pretty simple. You didn't need a video for this, but I am happy to be here, join you on that little journey. Uh, if this is, was of any help, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you know when the next video of the tutorial series comes out. Uh, yeah, and let me know what you think in the comments below or if you need any help, just put them down there. Put your comments, put your questions, uh, share the knowledge. Stay safe out there, stay healthy and I will see you in the next video where we are really looking into Unity and what it's capable to do. What is that editor thing that we just, it's so complicated. No, it's not. I will see you the next time around. Bye-bye. <laughs>